Welcome to Living with CP 2021. So, like I said in my introduction, I have mild spastistic cerebral palsy. Um, cerebral palsy is caused by a lack of oxygen to the brain before or after birth. And in my case, the cord, the umbilical cord was wrapped around my neck. And my face was basically blue, so I like had little to no oxygen whatsoever going straight to my brain, which affected my legs mostly. Um, I've had, like I said in my first introduction, I've had 22 surgeries to be able to walk, to be able to see. Um, without any, if I didn't have eye surgery, I would be blind. Um, and without any type of leg surgery, I would never be able to walk. There's different types of cerebral palsy. There's different types of severities of cerebral palsy. And in my case, it's mild, thankfully. And I get a lot of flack. I get... Um, it's just so beautiful out here. I have to look around. It's so gorgeous. Um, I get told a lot of times that, you know, I, God doesn't want to kill me because he's punishing me for my parents' sins. Or, you know, I don't have enough faith. And I just want to let my viewers know that, <laughs> um, that that's not true at all. If you have a disability yourself or if your child has a disability or if you know somebody who has a disability, it's not because God punished them. It's not because God cursed them or whatever. Um, we do end up doing bad choices and bad choices causes consequences. Um, People do get into wrecks and they end up becoming disabled, maybe because, you know, they were drinking or whatever. Um, but in my case, it just happened. Life just happened. You know, and, you know, God just created me this way for a reason. And I think for that reason, I am to bring awareness and to help others deal with it. Or understand it more um, like I said in my intro video I've decided to create living with CP 2021 channel because a lot of people don't understand cerebral palsy they have a misunderstanding or they have a lack of understanding of what it is and what it's a cause it's not contagious so anybody can be around me and they will not get cerebral palsy. If I had kids, they would not get cerebral palsy unless God per unless God wanted them to. Um, this is just the beginning, so if I mess up a lot, I do apologize. Um, in, a, in, in one of my videos, I'm going to have kids asking me brutal questions about cerebral palsy. So, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> um, but like I said last night, in my first video, I've had 22 surgeries. The last surgery I had was two years ago. And ever since, I've been doing physical therapy. And... Um, I've been doing physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy for practically my whole entire life. Physical therapy mainly, because it does affect my balance and my legs. And, um, you know, I live a pretty normal life. I get around normally. I cannot drive. But I can live on my own. I can cook. If it's microwave or over the, or in the oven. <laughs> Not as much as over the stove um you know i can do practically normal stuff um 
I have to use long strand crutches um, to be able to keep my balance but hopefully that will just disappear at some point in my life and if I have to use them till the day I die then you know I'm content with that because God created us equally and he created us each of us differently for a reason everybody has a purpose in this life in this world we may not see it but we do um, in my case it took me a very long time to realize why I had cerebral palsy I felt like I couldn't do anything and um, this YouTube channel popped up in my head and I was like oh this is a great idea <laughs> so um, I'm about to go to therapy and I just wanted to vlog um, be patient with me this is only the beginning and so hopefully as time goes on and as I create more videos I will do much better at it and I'm going to talk to each parent and maybe in my next video it will be called questions about cerebral palsy asked by kids I'm not sure what the title is going to be yet I'm just I go as long, I go along as whatever. So, um, to my subscribers and my viewers, keep a lookout on that. Sorry, my hair's a mess. Um, have a great day. It's beautiful outside. I don't know where anybody else lives, but it's gorgeous. Go take a walk, and hopefully, in one video, I will video. I will have a friend of mine. Um, do a video on how I walk my dog. That should be interesting. <laughs> um, so, you know, we take life as is. Um, people struggle with many different things. And sometimes we don't know how to deal with those struggles. And, you know, my struggle is with streets, with cerebral palsy. And you just gotta take life as it is. You can't, if you can't change it, accept it. That's the only way you can deal with it. If you can't change it, you have to accept it. You cannot accept you have to accept the things you cannot change. Um, and that's what I have been learning is I have to accept my disability as is because I cannot change it. And that's all I got for today. <laughs> Hopefully this is a little bit better. I'm sorry I've been looking around a lot and not at the camera. But it's just the beginning and I will get a lot of practice out of it. And I am learning as I go. So have a great day. Go take a walk. Go swim or whatever. It's too cold to swim. Go take a walk. Go to the park. Go take your dog for a walk. Take a breather. Um, get some fresh air. It's really nice out. Look at this. Not a cloud in the sky. It's really nice out. It's a couple. Not very many. It's not cloudy. It's nice. Windy. But it's nice. So, I think in my next video, it's going. I'm going to have kids ask me questions about cerebral palsy on what they want to know. Um, and it's going to be brutal. Because these are kids. And I'm excited. I'm excited for this next adventure. And I hope you guys can join me. Um like subscribe and share because that's what i would like i want to get the awareness out and thank you for subscribing to my channel living with cp 2021